Today's message is titled The Master's Health Checkup. Is there a spiritual health checkup in the Bible? Yes, there is. You know, we read in the book of Revelations, if you read the chapters, uh, Revelation chapters 2 and 3, we see that the Lord Jesus does, does a spiritual health checkup with, uh, with a few churches. So here are some tests that we can run this morning to see uh, as, as part of our spiritual health checkup. It will show us really what has affected our spiritual temperature. One, check number one, okay, our test number one, the word worship prayer check. We need to ask our question, ask the, ourselves this question and honest answers, you know, am I spending sufficient time in the word of God? I'm asking myself that question. Am I spending sufficient time in the word of God? Am I reading, meditating, studying, confessing the word of God? So if we would allow the word of God to inhabit us abundantly, then surely the word will influence us deeply and impact us powerfully. The next, uh, worship. You know, when we get a revelation from the word about God, the response of our heart is worship. And then thirdly, uh, prayer. Worship, word, prayer. Communing with God. Is that a priority? If you look at the life of Jesus, the Lord Jesus spent whole nights in prayer. He woke up early. He went uh, onto a mountaintop and he communed with the Father in prayer, spend time uh, with the Father, to hear His voice, to, to talk to Him. The second uh, spiritual test is the faith level check, okay? So the question to ask is, have we left fear, unbelief, hopelessness of circumstances drown out the voice of truth, the voice of faith? And the, the first test and the second test are so uh, connected because it's the Word of God which produces faith in us. And all of us, we need faith to believe in Him. We need faith to receive the instruction that comes from Him. We need faith um, to, to pursue the call of God and fulfill the call of God on our lives. We need faith. We must believe that God is who He said He is, irrespective of the circumstance, irrespective of the challenges that we might be going through. You know, that's, the, that's key, that's foundational, that's fundamental. That's faith 101. Fear esteems God's word and his promises lower than our circumstances. Whereas faith esteems God's word and his promises higher than our current circumstances. The third one is the heart check. Um, is our heart giving thanks to God or is our heart full of bitterness and offense and anger? If there is offense, there is unchecked, it leads to bitterness and anger and envy. So this is it. When offense and bitterness enter, thanksgiving and gratitude exit. And the fourth one is, are you ready? The fourth one is the EET check, which means the eyes, ears, and the thoughts check. We need to be discerning in what we see because what we see and what we hear influences our thoughts. So we need to fill our minds with the thoughts of God. We need to fill our minds with the Word of God so the Word of God can change our thoughts, so the Word of God can change our behavior, our thoughts um, you know, leading to our behavior. The final check is the love level check. Uh, you know, when our love decreases or when our love becomes cold, the Bible also talks about times in the last days, the love of, uh, the love of many will grow cold. So it, it, just, it just shows that the, love, the Lord really values our love for Him. And uh, the Lord uh, says, you know, remember, I have this against you. You have left your first love. So that's the, that's the final check. So if we would give an honest answer to all this, you know, where are we spiritually? What are these things that are affecting us? So if it's, if it's a love check, we need to do something. We need to get back to God. We need to prioritize. We need to esteem Him higher than we esteem the other things and say, Lord, I get back to you. If it's something to do with faith, we need to get back and say, Lord, I'm not going to esteem, Lord, fear. I'm not going to esteem, uh, I'm not going to you know, put fear. I'm not going to fear the circumstance, but I'm going to lift your word, lift your promises and so on for each and every, each and every test.